In this video, I'll show you how to use two-factor authentication with Valence for an increased level of security. You will need to have your mobile phone handy and the ability to add an authenticator app from either the Apple App Store for iPhone and iPad or Google Play for Android devices, if you don't have one already. I'll explain that more in a bit. I'm here at the Valence login page. If your administrator has set the two-factor authentication to be mandatory, you'll be prompted to set that up at your first login attempt. If two-factor authentication is optional, you can log in as usual. Then find the two-factor authentication setup in User Settings under this Settings icon. To begin the setup process, click Setup Two-Step Authentication. Let's leave this barcode here for now while I explain the part you'll need to do on your mobile phone. Valence two-factor authentication requires you to have an authenticator app on your mobile phone like Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator, and there are many others. Any authentication app that uses the TOTP standard should work. In this video, I'll demonstrate using Google Authenticator. You do not need a Google account or any connection to Google whatsoever for this to work. Even though I'm demonstrating with Google Authenticator, your Valence administrator may instruct you to use a different authenticator app. During this demonstration, I'll show you what I'm seeing on my mobile phone. I'm demonstrating on an Apple iPhone. I already have Google Authenticator installed on my iPhone. But I'm here in the Apple App Store to show you what the app name and icon looks like so you can find it and install it on your phone as well, if you like. I'll click Open from here to jump right to the app. As you can see, I have many accounts already set up in my Google Authenticator that are showing various security codes. These codes change every 30 seconds. If you've just installed the app, you won't have anything in this list yet. Now that I have Google Authenticator up and ready to go on my phone, I can add the Valence account by clicking the plus sign in the lower right. Now I'm ready to scan the 2D barcode that's been waiting for me on my desktop screen. Okay, I've scanned the barcode, and now the connection is listed. I just need to enter the six-digit number from the Authenticator to finish the setup in Valence. I'll switch back to my desktop screen to show you that. And there you go, it has been accepted. If your code is not accepted, please check with your Valence administrator. There may be some steps they need to take in order to ensure Valence is properly set up for this feature. It's also important that the current time on your phone be very accurate, as the codes that are shown are synchronized by time. Again, if you need help, please check with your Valence administrator. In this acceptance screen, you see a number of one-time use codes. These can be printed or written down and saved in a secure place for you to use as one-time logins in case you don't have your mobile phone handy. Your administrator may change the number of codes given to you or disallow this one-time code use feature entirely. It's important to know that if you use these one-time use codes in the future, that once you use a code, it can no longer be used ever again, hence why they're called one-time use codes. Now that two-factor authentication is established, I'll log out to show you how it works now at login. Log in as you normally would, then you'll be prompted for your six-digit code. Find the correct entry in your Authenticator app on your mobile phone, and then enter the code. It's that simple. You'll notice that the code will change every 30 seconds. You see a countdown timer here on the right. When the codes get near the expiration, the timer will turn red. As you're getting ready to use a code, if you see it's about to expire, you may want to wait until the next code is generated so you have enough time left to type the code on the screen before it expires. Now that I'm logged in, I can do my valence work as usual. To disable two-factor authentication, you can go back to your settings and turn it off. To turn it off, you'll need to enter a valid code. Keep in mind, however, that if your valence administrator has made the use of two-factor authentication mandatory, that you'll be prompted to set it up again the next time you log in. That's all there is to using valence two-factor authentication. Thanks for watching.